So in this video, I'm going to be using Autumn to set up Stripe in my AI built application. Um, and this is definitely the easiest way to set up payments and integrate Stripe. Um, it'll, I'm using Lovable in this case, but it will work with uh, Bolt and anything that has a Superbase built backend. Uh, please build me a quote generator for startup founders um, and add auth to it as well. Okay, well that's working. Let me connect Superbase. Great, now that's done. Please build. Please build me my app and add auth. Okay, I'm gonna head into Autumn. Um, and in autumn, we're going to define the pricing model uh, and our pricing plans that we actually want for this application. So I'm just going to sign up for a new account. Okay, and I'm going to build our product. So we're going to have a free tier. This is going to be our default product um, because it's going to be applied to all new users. And we're going to have a feature called quotes. And we're going to have three quotes included uh, per month in our free tier. And now I'm going to build our pro tier, which is going to have 10 quotes per month. And we're going to charge $5 per month for it. Great. So now we have that set up. We'll come back into Lovable. We've got all set up here. Let me sign in. Okay, and this looks pretty good so far, uh, generating our quotes. What I'm going to do is now set up Autumn. So I'll come over to the docs page um, that's going to be linked uh, below and this AI builders page, we're going to start setting up. So in our in our setup prompt, let's copy this. And this is actually just going to set up Autumn to handle the billing in our Lovable app. Okay, great. So now that's done, um, we can verify this works in a few different ways. So first, when we come over to our uh, our functions table in Superbase, we can see that Lovable's added our Autumn secret key. That's good. And it also has added this uh, this Autumn function. And that's going to basically connect everything up to Autumn. Um, when we come into our Autumn account, where is it? If we come into customers, let's go back into Lovable and refresh this. Cool, we can see in the uh, in the console we're logging a customer and that means everything has been connected successfully. So let me come over here, refresh, and there we go. Our customer has been created and they've been put on the free plan. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually integrate that pricing model that we set up. So let's go back to our AI builders page. Uh, click on this prompt integrate the pricing model. And what we'll do is just describe to Lovable what our pricing model is. So I have a free tier, which has three quotes per month, and I have a pro tier, which is $5, and that has 10 quotes per month. And what we'll also do is give it the, uh, is give it the product IDs and the feature IDs. My free tier has a product ID of free, and the pro tier has a product ID of pro, and my quotes feature has a feature ID of quotes. Cool. And let me paste in that second prompt. Oh, let me copy it again. And paste it in there. And you heard me talk about those uh, feature IDs and those product IDs. You're going to get them from here. So when you create the products, we automatically generate some product IDs and feature IDs. Um, you can get them here and the feature IDs, you can get them from here. 
Okay, so now we have a usage tracker. Let me start generating quotes. And you can see that it's making calls to Autumn uh, to automatically track this. So we have our account here in Autumn. Let's refresh that. Uh, and you can see we've used those three quotes. So it sent three events. Uh, we have zero quotes remaining. We're on that free plan that has three quotes per month. Um, if we go into our Lovable app, you can see it says we're out of quotes at the moment. What we can do is actually come into Autumn and let's say, I don't know, give him another five quotes. And now when we refresh the page, he's going to be able to uh, do even more quotes. And yeah, use up all those five quotes again. Now, when we want to upgrade, um, we'll get this little error message here. And Lovable has built us this pricing page. Now, before we can actually use it, we need to connect Autumn to Stripe. And so the way we're going to do that is come over to the connect to Stripe portal and we'll grab our Stripe test API keys and paste them in here. OK, so I've just connected my Stripe account. Uh, let me refresh this. And now when we go over to pricing, oh, I'll have to open this in a new page and hit upgrade to pro. We get a Stripe checkout URL, so I'm going to pay for that. And you can make test payments with the with Stripe's test cards 424242. And now when we head into Autumn, we'll see that our customer is now on the pro tier and we have an invoice for five dollars that they just paid and now they've got 10 quotes available so when we go into our application uh lovable now knows that because it's making that call to autumn that we have 10 quotes available and again we can just use up those quotes in the same way we did last time Okay, well, the last thing to do is actually before that, let's check how our downgrade flow works. Uh, so Autumn also handles the downgrade flow. Uh, so if we wanted to just cancel that subscription, we can do it right there. And when we check in on our customer, you can see that our free product is scheduled to be downgraded at the end of the cycle uh, because they've already paid for one month pro. Now, the last thing that we'll do is set up failed payments. So here, what we're going to tell Lovable to do is please set up failed payments. Uh, if the payment is failed, then lock the customer out of the app and link them to the billing portal where they can update their payment method. And we're just going to paste in that last prompt. OK, so what I'm going to do now is sign out of this account and what I have uh, in Autumn, uh, I've just created this user that has a past due or a, or a failed payment status. Um, so when we come in here, let me log in with that account. And you can see that Lovable has given us this nice little banner uh, that the payment has failed, service has been suspended, and we can tap on this button to update our payment method. What I will do is hit pay amount due, and I'm going to change the payment method to be one that will pass. Okay, great. So we paid for that. And when we come into Autumn, our customer has now been updated back to active. And so when they refresh the page, they've got access to everything again. Cool. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any problems setting this up. We're always happy to help. Uh, links to our Discord are going to be in the description.